Hello everybody, my name is Maddie and welcome back to my channel, but if you're new, Welcome to my channel. Before we get into everything today, first make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that bell to know when I post. It would just mean so much to me. Um, make sure to follow all of my social media and check out my merch. I will put it in the description down below. I'm going to lower Little Miss camera a little bit. Is that better? I have wanted to make this video for a long time um, because I feel like a huge reason uh, as to why I endured so much bullying in my upbringing is because how I chose to do my makeup back in the day. So we are going to um, do my makeup that I did in high school versus my makeup that I do right now as it stands. And you never know, maybe like someday I'll look back at this and I'll be like, oh my God, my makeup still looked like shit. But you know, we have a Truly, we have a, um, a wild berry truly and we're gonna crack right into this well this has been cracked into we're gonna crack right into the video it was really really bad I I hate I hate looking at it it's literally like uh, the it's just bad <laughs> It's so terrible. I don't know. I'm afraid to show you guys because what if you like look at me and you're like damn she was ugly. I don't know if I can watch her anymore, but I would um, do my whole face like that. But I think it would um, it would bring back some traumas that I don't want to relive. And I want to be able to like look at my face how it looks now. You know, it's like a grounding type of thing. So this is the picture I'm using for reference. There it is. I'll I'll just put it up here. Um, I. I really thought that was it. Um, I'm gonna do the left side of my face, like, you know, Maddie right now, and we'll do the right side, like, traumatizing Maddie. Maddie who was going through some shit. I think I was a sophomore. Dude, this is either, I'm actually, I can look, I suppose. No, I don't feel like going that deep into my Facebook and looking for that picture again to see when it was posted. You know what, I'll put it right here. When I'm editing, I'll force myself to do it, which editing Maddie hates when I do that. Every time I'm editing, I'm like, why did I say I was gonna do, anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm stalling, cause this is just gonna be terrible. So the first thing we're gonna do is just gonna be for the left side because uh, you think she primed back in the day? No, she did not prime. So I'm gonna be using this um, Dr. Brandt Luminizer primer and we're just gonna get a little bit of it and put it on the left side and get all primed up um okay now we are moving right along to um foundation the foundation i did on the right side i um would whiten it a lot because i was on some like i wanted to look like amy lee or something i don't know but um i did and it was really bad <laughs> so uh, i dropped my sponge i suppose i can just put on um my foundation on this side and then like add some concealer and make it super light i don't know i don't really have anything super light so we're just gonna like do that and hope it lightens it up enough so we're just gonna get like two pumps i'm using this studio makeup flawless skin foundation in the color um oat light and we're just gonna start putting this on the left side this was long enough ago that i don't oh my god the part in my hair can make it easy this was long enough ago that i don't really remember the products i used there's a couple of things i remember me doing like you know how i did my eye makeup and stuff that is very vivid in my brain there's other parts that it is just a big uh, blank so we are just gonna go based off of this beautiful picture. We're also gonna get the neck a little bit That's something she did not do too. She did not blend the neck which you know We'll make sure we'll do that, you know, just to make this as authentic as we can get it Um, but the neck was definitely something we did not pay attention to We're gonna get a fuck ton of concealer and just like mix it together and make it really thick and cakey too Like we're gonna fucking and i'm using the tarte shape tape concealer in the color fair neutral I what I did in the past was I just bought really light foundation, but we don't have it anymore for obvious reasons So, um, and this is about to be thick and cakey as fuck. Good. 
but good. Okay, um, yes, we're loving this moment. Um, we're loving this ghost moment, not the band. Um, <laughs> I hate how this feels very thick and juicy on me. It's kind of, all right, it, we're, we're messing up the half and half thing. This is like my traumas like creeping into my everyday life that I have right now. I wanna try to fix this line. I really messed it up. There we go, okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we gotta make sure we got a big line on that neck right there. We're doing great so far. Let me get a mirror. Great. So we are going to wipe off this thick white paste. Next is concealer. I did not do concealer back in the day because my whole face was concealer. Take a little dot in there. And there's already so much shit on this sponge. I'm trying to like wipe it off. And then we're just gonna fill this in a little bit. So this is what we have so far. Um, I did not do powder either. Like face makeup is like a, like pretty much done on this side. Um, we still have like 27 more things to do on the other side. Um, I usually dip my sponge in the powder. Oh, and I use the um, isn't this like complex culture or something powder? I don't remember, but we usually start putting it on the eyes to prevent creasing. Put it on the cheeks. Get just like a tiny bit for the forehead and get a little bit for the nose. And then like the rest of it, I can like, you know, just kind of like spread it, you know, spread the, spread the word of God to the rest of the face. I don't have to keep powdering. Powdering. Okay, um, and then after that, this is when we get to the eyebrows and I need to I need to talk for a second. I was debating which picture to use because my eyebrows were constantly changing and they just still change a little bit. Back in the day, it was just constantly not doing so good. So, but we're gonna go based off of this picture. This isn't the worst they've gotten. I used to have spermy brows. I used to have gigantic eyebrows. I used to have these. We're just gonna go with this, which is still not good, but this was kind of like a good a good reference picture because of the eye makeup, and the eye makeup is what terrified me the most. So, I don't remember what I used. I think I actually used a powder. Should I? We're gonna get out a powder eyebrow stuff because if I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills, it's just not gonna give us the same vibe. So I have to move the camera real quick, I'm sorry. This Urban Decay one, it's, the brow box, we're gonna try doing this and see if it gives it the same kind of flavor. We'll go on to the darker side because I remember I did make it a point to make my eyebrows really dark. And you're gonna get bonus points on this side for having fallout everywhere that by the end of the day will make it look like you got beat in the face because it smeared everywhere because I kept rubbing my face. So I'm trying to see what I did. We made it the darkest in the front like that, I think. And then it went straight back. And I remember like there was no, we didn't, we didn't try to make this look good. And then we just had like a little line that went down. Maddie, I, I keep trying to make it good. We have to make it darker in the front. That's what we did. We did the opposite eyebrow. We made it really dark and rounded up here. Oh my God, I can't believe it. And then this line went straight down. Perfect. Do not try to fix it. It, I went out like this. That's the eyebrow. And now we're gonna, you know, clean this brush of its sins and go to my beautiful Anastasia fucking dip brow and blonde. And um, we are going to, we are going to do my other brow. So I just dip the brush in there a little bit. I first make a line going up like that make the arch. I haven't waxed my eyebrows in a little bit, I'm sorry. So like they might be looking a little fuzzy, but that's fine, it adds character. Looking, I mean, okay, looking great, looking like a nightmare. And that's the thing, like you didn't, you wanted to get the darkest eyebrow stuff you could on the side, even if it has red undertones like that, that was fine. Hey dude, that was fun. Hey, don't worry about it. It's supposed to look like that. We're moving right along to eyeliner, but I do eyeshadow here. I'm, I don't do eyeshadow every day. I do eyeshadow when I got like somewhere I gotta be. So, but we gotta accommodate Maddie's daily makeup. So we will do eyeshadow. And as you can see, it's all black, gray, and white. Okay, I'm just gonna grab this James Charles Morphe palette. I know like controversial, but I already have it. <sighs> I bought it before all like the kid talking to happened. So we're just gonna use it. And I don't know, I'm just gonna grab a random brush. I guess I'll use this. I need, this is the JS8. We'll try this first. 
I lied, we're actually gonna start with the JS12. We make our own wing, we don't use tape, okay? So we're just gonna try doing it like in the picture. We're just picking up the black in the James Charles palette and it went straight up to God, you know? And you want it to connect a little bit with the eyebrow. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going off. I'm going completely off the picture. You want it to go above the eyebrow. And then we're gonna pack it on the lid. Make sure you get all that fallout or else it's just incorrect. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, it's fine. And you're just gonna keep packing on that black. Is that there's not a gray in this palette? I thought there was. Okay, I have to find a palette with a gray eyeshadow in it. One second, oh my God, <laughs> please, please. All right, I have my Jeffree Star Alien palette. It has a perfect gray in there. It's actually broken too, so there's gonna be pieces of other eyeshadow in it. I think that's great. I remember like what I allowed to happen and I wanna keep that same energy. So yeah, it has a little bit of Space Cowboy broken inside of it and I can't lift it up or else it's gonna fall everywhere, but we're gonna get tall gray with a little bit of Space Cowboy in it on a big fluffy brush and then just start, you know, filling in up there make sure it touches the eyebrow you want it to you know kiss the eyebrow a little bit we're done with that that's it and I if I remember correctly we're gonna go back to the James Charles palette I would get some white on my finger and put that right there we did a little bit of white. oh fuck this is a pigmented eyeshadow I'm used to the other like Claire's ones I used back in the day we don't want the white to cover it up that much we want to add a little bit more tall gray and that actually is looking pretty good I mean without the eyeliner that is looking great so um cool now um, we can start doing eyeliner for both eyes so let's grab the eyeliner I use now so how I did oh, I also didn't finish my we need also oh fuck I use pencil I use pencil eyeliner that's right I didn't get liquid eyeliner we'll just use this pencil this is the wander beauty skyliner and um, I will show you right now how I did my wing Perfect. It just came straight down like that. See how I am right now. I really want to like, you know, make it like a perfect triangle, but we did not do that back in the day. And then we put a lot of this into our waterline, which I kind of need to lean forward to do. Okay. You have it in your waterline. And do you see how there's that finger mark under my eye from holding my eye to put it in my wand waterline? That's perfect. And we also put it under like my lash line too and then we took i don't know what we took at that time but we're gonna grab this little brush and um we're gonna go back into the black and the james charles palette and also pack that a little more under my eye just for good measure it looks pretty close that looks really good i think we do need more black though i want to work on this side so bad oh my god snatched now we are going to grab this lauren conrad um the eyeliner that's all it's called and um oh we gotta tape my eyes first see i'm all scrambled up right now put it on your skin first to get rid of some of the tackiness i have a whole video on how to do my how i do my eyeliner so just you know click on that or whatever or up there wherever side it's on Liner is done. You remove the tape and that's it. And next step is bronzer. She did not do bronzer back in the day. You know, I feel bad. We'll, we'll do a little fixing up. I shouldn't have done that, but like just compared to this side, man, it's looking fucking terrifying, but I just can't, I can't make this up. So anyways, I'm using the Gigi Gorgeous, um, the Six Sculpt Bronzer Duo. And giving myself a little bit of a bronze moment. Make sure you get it on the forehead too, under the chin. Um, now we're gonna put on blush. I don't, I don't know if I started wearing blush at this time. I think I did, but I put it in really weird places. So we'll do some blush on this side. On the cheekbones. I kind of do like e-girl style blush. And then um, I'm gonna try to put it on my nose. I wear a lot on my nose, so it's gonna be hard to do without getting on the other side. How we did it in the past was, I think we just did a little bit right there. Um, and I'm also seeing that I put some right here on the chin. Okay, we did not wear highlighter back in the day, but I do now. Uh, Ofra, this is the highlighter in Soho. So we're just gonna put some on this side. A little bit on my nosey. 
And then we have mascara. Let's just put on some as normal. Make sure you like get it stuck to the top a little bit too on this side. Oh my God, you see that? The way it just hit my nose. And now we're gonna do the other side. And then we have brow gel, no brow gel. Back in the day, we wear brow gel now. I'm using, oh, by the way, fucking sorry. The mascara was the Ico uh, Rock Out and Lash Out mascara. Right? Yeah. And then we have the Wander Beauty brow gel. that's just in clear. And um, we're gonna put it on this side. Lashes. We did not do lashes either. So now I'm just gonna put my lashes on. We only need one. That is actually nice. I lost my usual lashes. My Hawaiian Cosmetics one, which by the way, I have a code for that website. So like, use it down below, even though I feel bad I'm not using them. But I lost them. Went somewhere, had a couple of drinks, and then and they were gone. <laughs> Oh, these are like kiss ones, I don't know. Now we are going to clean off my piercings. Okay, um, another thing, don't clean off your lips. When you're done um, doing your makeup, you wanna leave them covered and looking all crispy with the foundation. But what I do now is I put on my lip balm. It's hard to only wipe it off on one side. We'll just wipe it off on both sides and then put foundation back on my lips. Okay, so just get those all cleaned up and then we're gonna Make sure this stays looking, stays looking weird. <laughs> Dude. Oh my God, that's so like not cute. Oh, setting spray. I'm kind of dab it into the skin and make sure it's all in there. Oh my God, I look at this side and I'm just like, <gasps> what have we learned today? Let's do, so, you know, this is definitely Maddie right now. How she be rocking it and, um, yeah, you know, all the people that bullied me were probably like, that's that's what I'm talking about. That's what I remember. Now they be in my DMs. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to call anyone out. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I actually did have a lot of fun doing this. Um, let me know if you want, like, just, I don't know, any other fun ideas for me to do, because, you know, I just, I'm, I'm wacky like that. I think this is where we're gonna end it. Uh, make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys hopefully next week with another video, another little video of, uh, something, me doing something crazy. I love you all so much. Have a blessed day or night.